Hey everybody, this is Tiffany and Mike with A Dash of Dandelions Homestead and we're new to the YouTube video community so we just wanted to introduce ourselves a little bit and uh, take you on a brief tour of our growing homestead. Um, so Mike and I have been married for almost five years. Um, we have four kids and three dogs <laughs> so we're full inside and we're working on uh, being full on the outside as well so um, just a, a walk around this is our rabbit hutch hopefully you can see uh, we've got three starting out we have uh, one buck and two does and they're in the process of uh, getting to know one another and um, they're a little on the young side so hopefully within the next few weeks we'll have some rabbits ready to get busy and um, in about eight to ten weeks um, no sorry let me backtrack on that um, it takes about 30 days uh, for the babies to hatch once the doe becomes pregnant and um, we keep the babies with them what about four weeks you'd say and then after that we'll move the babies out and uh, once they get between eight and ten weeks old or maybe 12 weeks just depends on how big they are uh, then they're going to be rabbit stew and rabbit dumplings and whatever else that we decide we want to use them for um, so as you can see you know our homestead isn't real big yet um, we're like I said we're just kind of getting started and uh, we do live in the city limits so you know we're kind of limited on what we can have and what we can do um, but we're happy with what we've got so far so this is going to be our chicken coop very soon uh, we actually have a couple of the walls already built but it was real windy yesterday and so we didn't want to attach them and then the wind blow it over and make a mess of the work so uh, hopefully within the next few days we'll have a completed chicken coop and chicken run and here in a little bit, I'll give you all a, a little glimpse into our brooding box with our little chicks. Um, so as I was saying, we're we're just kind of getting started with all this. Um, we've been, uh, since February, uh, we started to can and, um, you know, preserve our own food. Uh, we've actually not been to the grocery store in uh, almost three months. Um, and that's pretty nice considering, the, you know, we had a high grocery bill for a family of six. So... Um, and to be able to eat our own food that, you know, uh, that we've made and we've canned, uh, we know what's in it and more importantly, what's not in it. And, uh, you know, so that's a, a great accomplishment for us and we're real proud of that. Um, also something that um, isn't included, uh, we have a laundry line, so we're trying to save on that electric bill because everybody knows how crazy those bills can get. And so up here, my husband has attached um, retract retractable lines and we have different entry points um, that I can take. So I have a tree over here for a lot of laundry and then a tree here. Um, you know, it just depends on the side of the load, but it gives me several different avenues to be able to use. And let me tell you, I absolutely love it. Now for those that have grown up like that, I almost envy you because it is awesome. It's so peaceful to just come out here and just hang your clothes on the line and the added bonus of not using that dryer so much um you know that's just a, an extra bonus for us so um like i said you know our little homestead is pretty small but you know we hope eventually um, god has blessed us so far and our long-term goal is to find some land to where we can expand we'd actually like to have a full size rabbit tree um, to the point where we can even sell babies if that's what we decide to do as well as the chicks um, right now we can only have five chickens uh, and we can't have any roosters so all the eggs that our hens will lay um, will be eaten or used for cooking and things like that um, uh, sorry <laughs> I lost my train of thought there but, uh, you know, we, we want to give God the glory with all of this. Uh, you know, he has blessed our family so much, even in the past year. You know, I've been a stay-at-home mom since last April. Uh, so, you know, we only have the one income. And, uh, yeah, we have all of this. You know, when you sit down and you look at the incoming and the outgoing, you would think, how in the world are they able to do all this? Uh, but let me tell you, folks, it's all God. 
And without him, I can't do anything. You know, we would not have what we have if he wasn't in the middle of it. And, um, you know, back in February, um, we started homeschooling our kids. And, um, you know, that's been a blessing. You know, I feel like they're really learning and they're excited to learn for school. And, uh, you know, it just opens up an avenue of possibilities with learning. You know, I don't have to have a set schedule or set curriculum you know we we learn based off their interest and um you know of course adding in the stuff that is required by law but uh you know we're able to expand on that we're not limited the way you are you know inside of a classroom and um the kids they're they're learning this new lifestyle right along with us and our hope is that as much as they grumble and complain about it now that someday if they decide that they want to go this route they'll already know how to do it and they won't be in their 30s and 40s trying to figure it out so anyway um i'll take you one more uh give you a little glimpse of our chicks um they're just a couple of days old we actually picked them up yesterday and uh so we're you know taking care of them and uh being mommy and daddy but here's our little babies um there's five of them hopefully we got some pullets in there pullets are females um if not and we wind up with some males well i guess we're gonna have us some chicken and dumplings y'all so anyways i hope that you enjoyed our video and i hope that you'll follow along with us um as we go through our journey and if you have any questions, you can comment below, and we'll try our best to uh, answer in a timely manner. You know, we stay pretty busy. Um, but we hope you all have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!